Hey guys, it's Tech Ryan here. In today's video, we'll be viewing a 2.5 gigabit network card for only $20. That's right. I actually got this off Amazon here today, which is the RTL 8125B PCIe network card. And the reason I got this here today is because my actual PCIe network card I was already using just died. It's a QNAP one for 2.5 gigabit. So I was going to try to get a replacement for it, which I got here. And surprisingly, this was $100. And this is twenty dollars, and it might actually just have the exact same as the result for what is it like one fifth of the price, which is kind of crazy to think about. So I thought we review it here today to see if it's actually good. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up the box. Now, when I got this from Amazon, this is exactly what it came with. Nothing really too fancy to it. Just says Gigabit Ethernet card, which is pretty cool. And so when you get right out of the box by opening it from the lip, you get access to the actual network card in itself. And on top of that too, you get a backup bracket just in case if you need it, and then the manual. Now, supposedly this is just something that you can just install your PC and it should just work. There's no drivers necessarily needed. So we're gonna test that on out by installing it next. But, you know, just kind of give you guys a close look at it. Let's just pull out the packaging. Here's how the network card looks like right out of the box, just in case you're wondering. You got the actual cooler up front here. You got, you see the PCIe slot there, some information up top about it. And then the backside's got really nothing going on to it. So I guess what we get to do now is install this thing. The first thing we're gonna do is un uninstall our side panel here. Now I am gonna be doing this one-handed. So this might be a little bit on the scuff side. I've also unplugged the power and also turned off the power by in the power switch, which I definitely do recommend you do so if you are going to actually do this. We're just gonna take our panel, set this to a set for the time being. And then what we're gonna do is put our PC on its side. Now I do have another nick in here already, but this one's actually messed up still. I don't know what's wrong with this one. This one kind of just broke as well. So we're just gonna have to uninstall this real quick. So all we have to do is take out the screw on this and take out this nick that was installed here because it is not going to be useful anymore, which is just easy as taking our Phillips screwdriver, setting that to the side, and then carefully just put wiggling this guy on out. With that, we uninstall it with absolute ease. So what we want to do to actually install this nick is literally take that big tooth in the middle there and line it up with the left side of the PCIe slot down there. So this part's going to be kind of a hassle because I'm doing this one-handed on top of it too that uh yeah installing a 1x on a 16 is never fun especially with a nick. So we should be able to just kind of line this up like so and if we have it lined up perfectly it should just go down into place if I push a little bit of pressure on it. Oh well there we go we got it. Okay I thought that was going to be much more of a hassle but uh it worked first time around so we'll just take our screw now and just screw it on into place. With that though, we should be good to go. So we got the 2.5 gigabit network card all installed. There's no drivers for it whatsoever. I double checked and everything. So what we're gonna do now is a speed test. Now, the only problem with it is we can't actually test it via over the internet because my house internet download and upload speed only does one gigabit. However, if we do it inside the house, it's over 10 gigabit to the actually server. So we're gonna test that. The first test we're gonna do is transfer a over three gigabit file of Apex footage from the one gigabit onboard ethernet to see how fast it actually takes. So it took 36 seconds to transfer that three gigabit file. Then we're now gonna transfer the same file, but on the 2.5 gigabit NIC. It took exactly 13 seconds to transfer it all over. Now we're gonna do a serious test. We're gonna transfer a nine gigabit file off the actual one gigabit ethernet first to see how fast it is, then compare the 2.5. So I got my little stopwatch here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste this on here, here click start, and we should see how long it actually takes. Okay, the file's almost done transferring nine gigabytes. So let's see if the file number is for the one gigabit ethernet. Okay, we click stop. It got one minute and 51 seconds. Well, we'll round up for the time being to say one minute and 52 seconds to actually transfer a 10 gigabit file on one gig ethernet. So let's see how much we actually save time wise for transferring the 2.5. So what we're gonna do is reset the watch, click paste and start and click the same thing here. We'll see how much faster this actually is. Off to a very good start. We're almost a quarter of the way there, just like within the first seven seconds. Okay, it just finished and I clicked the freaking click type stop on the stopwatch. But long story short, 
It took us one minute and 52 seconds to transfer the file, if I remember correctly. And I was gonna click this at the 44 second mark, but uh, of course I mistyped to click the timer. We got 47, which I'll round down for time being and say 45 just to be safe wise. But we lost half the amount of time because it's now 2.5, which is double the transfer speed. Well, it's almost more than double the transfer speed if you think about it like that. But yo, this Nick for $20 is pretty good. And I'm going to quickly say it. Just unfortunate that my upload speed and download speed over the internet outside the house is in 2.5. It's only a gig. So let's go over my final thoughts on this actual Nick. Do I think it was worth the $20 to actually upgrade to? Honestly, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. I'm just saying. But besides the point, though, comparing to buying the Nick I bought in the past, it was like $100. And this one, it will now it's like 87 or something like that. But this one's 20 bucks for the same result, the same speeds. I assume there might be a little bit more quality with QNAP, but I'm not entirely sure too, like what the whole real details about like the difference between next. I'm not like a super high tech nerd, you know what I'm saying? But if 20 bucks get the same results as like $90, I don't really see a problem with getting this one, especially since it's just plug and play, just works. You don't have to mess with anything. But if I know it with some other actual Nicks I've messed with the past, I've had to install drivers for them. When you have to do that and set that stuff up, that's just a complete hassle and just annoying because then you don't know if it's working properly until you install the drivers. You're like, oh, it's good. Love it when just plug and play. So that's great to see. The good thing about this is though, since I work within the house, I don't really go anywhere outside because it's like when I'm uploading YouTube videos, that's gonna be kind of annoying thing. Like if you don't have a really good upload speed or download speed, this Nick might not be the best thing to spend your $20 on. You could just get it because maybe you upgrade down the line to a better internet server or provider. So you could have that. But if you know your internet speed inside of the house is significantly faster to transfer to your like NAS or to maybe some form of storage, then this would become optimal because me, I'm actually gonna get a, uh, a NAS later here to set up because the one I have is just like a server NAS. It isn't like my official NAS. So I'm gonna get another one for like 10 gigabit. And I wanna be able to like transfer really fast speeds. So maybe I'll just have like this for 2.5 on my gaming PC is pretty nice because I don't really need more than 2.5 on my gaming PC. If I want to maybe download games as fast as I could, but I have to set that up. But on my streaming PC, I have like a 10 gigabit NIC. So you can see like having it inside the house from my workload, I could just transfer files really fast to get stuff done. And then I can just like casually upload things to YouTube, have no problem. So yeah, if you want to get this Nick for yourself, I will have a link down below. And of course you do use that link that will support the channel. But ultimately, if you can actually do 2.5 gigabit uh, ethernet, I would definitely recommend getting this because like 20 bucks is 20 bucks at the end of the day. But if you guys enjoyed my video here today though, make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed, send me some future tech content. And until then, have a rest of your day, Tech Grant out.